Hey guys! Hi guys! We have a special video for you today and it is this Stitch Hikari. I'm so excited! So Hikaris are something that Funko makes. They are expensive. A lot of people won't get into them because yeah. of the expense. They're usually like $50 to $70. That's really high for something so thin and, uh, you know, not, not as just heavy that, you know, you kind of want to feel your money's worth. Yeah, but the numbers are so limited. They're usually under a thousand for most of them, so it's... Yeah, although nobody's buying them, so you can find them on websites for like half the price, yeah. a quarter of the price. A lot of times you just gotta well, be smart about it. some of them, the Disney ones are Disney selling, ones are though. a different story, and that's why we went ahead and picked up this Stitch. This one's limited to 750 pieces. You like this one because it looked most like Stitch. Now, yeah. they do have a lot of different colors of this them. This Stitch is just exactly what you see in the movie. He's growly, he's blue. <laughs> I yeah. think this is pretty great. They've got all kinds. they got some that look like Hawaiian Punch. they got lime green. Uh, they do have some beautiful ones. That's what makes Hikari so nice is the paint jobs that they put Yeah, on. the paint jobs, and most of them have like a glitter mixed in with the mold, so they're really sparkly yeah. and pretty. And that's what this is. It's the glitter blue... Um, I think that's, I don't know the exact name for it, but it is like a glitter blue uh, stitch of car. Of course, once again, it is limited to 750 pieces. Let's take a look at it. So first off, I think this looks a lot like Stitch. I think this looks exactly like Stitch, especially when he first lands in Hawaii and he's kind of like angry and just trying to figure out and get his bearings. Yeah, I mean, uh, Hikaris are some of our favorite things but that we don't collect. As much, I guess I we should say, just because of the, the cost. I love how his color fades from like a darker blue in his hands and his feet, all, and then it goes lighter up into his ears. Yeah, I agree too. Now, one thing I'm not real happy about, uh, the bottom of his chin actually has some weird goop glitter on it, sort of. Oh yeah, it does. Um, if you're going to pay, we pay $50 for this. My opinion is, if you're going to pay $50 for a vinyl figure of some sort, their paint job better be perfect. Yeah, their paint job better be dang near spot on. Now, that's not that big of a deal, you know, in the grand scheme of things, but we would like to see a little better quality in the paint job. I do know that they have premium editions of Hikari's, and they have just, like, regular, which are, I guess, these, consider these. Now, the premium ones are usually, like, $75 and up, and they're a little bigger, and the paint jobs are a little more fancy, um, but that doesn't mean that the paint job should be any uh, less perfect. These Hikaris do come with a little card that does tell you what number you have. I think that that's so interesting because you're actually getting a number as if it were a statue, and I think that that's a great Yeah, I, I, I think it is too, and the box art's great on these things. So, you know, overall, I do love it. I love how it looks like a neon artwork on the back of it. Yeah, it's like a Hikaris. neon sign. Yeah, so, I mean, these Hikaris look really nice when they, like, have a light on them and they're all together, especially oh. when they're out of the box. Now, we're definitely not going to take them out of the box <laughs> as far as that goes, but when they are out of the box, and they're like in a display case with lighting. That's really when these things Could shine. Could you imagine what these would look like if you had like a black light behind them or something? Well, originally, when Hikari hadn't come out yet and Funko was making them, they were actually supposed to have a light in them. Really? Yeah, they were, they were, in, a, they were in a tube box. They looked like a tube. And there was like a light button that you actually pushed on the box and it would <laughs> light them up. And that went away and they're then it came out with these. They're probably too expensive. And that's my guess. Cool. That's my, they're expensive already, but yeah, that. So overall... I'm pretty happy with this stitch. I think that, that Funko did a really good job. I think Disney, overall, they're doing a really good, good job Oh, yeah, Hikari. all of the Disney Hikari ones, they're really good. And obviously, they're doing something right with them because they're selling they out sell pretty quickly. But Mickey Mouse, man. Once a Mickey Mouse, or even oh. Buzz Lightyear, when they go up, boom, they're gone. A lot of times, Stitch, Stitch this one's sold out for a little while. I think it might be mm -hmm. back. But they go quick, man. There are a lot of Disney fans out there. And when they can find something different, like a Hikari in anything Disney... It's going. You just got to know that. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.